an award-winning host, actor and comedian, Manchester's rising star and celeb, Mani Liakad. First of all, congratulations on a successful program, Muslims Like Us, Mani. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you very much. Mani, this is your first exclusive interview since the program aired on BBC Two. How was your experience? Well, w uh, where do I start? First of all, it, uh, it has been uh, definitely a roller coaster for me. Uh, a lot of highs and lows at the same time. But overall, um, to be honest with you, it was probably one of the best experiences of my life. What would you say that you came away with from this experience? I have learned to be more patient, first of all. Okay. And patience is virtue, as you yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> Secondly, I think I've become more aware of the fact that uh, yet we all had one thing common, which was we were all Muslims. Mm -hmm. However, is still I would say that we are very different from each other. You know, has it shaped your uh, perspective of uh, on the look of Islam yourself as a Muslim? I've they, well, was there challenging moments where you thought, "Is this uh, a learning experience from other people's views, from some of the other people's opinions about Islam and how they portrayed it?" Absolutely, I think there was a lot of. Uh, there was a lot of uh, when it's a, when you when you talk about perception, there's a lot of culture involved in in Islam as well. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. Which I agree. I agree. which obviously was uh, was not known to me because coming from a Pakistani background uh, or coming from an Asian background, I would say, and living in the UK, we do certain things in certain ways. H however, there was there was a lot of people sure. who were obviously non Asians. I would say especially. Mm. You, you know they are still holding the same faith. However, their doings, their 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 way of doing things was totally different to ours. Mm. However, it's like you can you can hold my ear from here, or you can go all the way from. You know what I mean? Mm. So you, it's basically the same Lord that you're actually praising. It's the same Lord that you're actually worshiping. Very diverse approach to Islam, I suppose. Yeah. Would you do this uh, again? Absolutely, <laughs> but if I am the director, if I'm the producer, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, then, in that case, looking back, what would you have done differently? It's not so much what I would have done differently. I was just being myself, and uh, you know, I, I, when I was a child, I learned this very early in my in my in my life that uh, you need to be your, yourself because everybody else has been taken. Okay. So, and I worked really hard on being myself. And I'm very proud of it, you know, at the same time. So I don't think I would have, because then again, a lot, a lot of the time, a lot of people are not actually understanding the fact. You've only seen the two hours of the 20, 240 hours or 200 and 400 oh, hours right. we have spelled. So there was a lot of recordings and all taken bits out of the program. Absolutely. It was, yeah. it was not, I wouldn't say non-stop, but there was cameras everywhere and uh, they were following us almost everywhere we were you know uh, whether it is my uh, the bedroom it was the kitchen uh, apart from bathroom of course i hope they haven't filmed anything <laughs> but uh, in the drawing room in in the lawn in the kitchen wherever we were sat there were cameras there yeah and we were mic'd up all the time all right so all the 24 hours apart from obviously the bathroom but all the rest of the 24 hours you always had your mics on you were always getting filmed and recorded yeah. Were there other conversations that took place perhaps that wasn't shown in the program? Absolutely. There was loads of them. You know, you can, this is what I'm trying to say, mm -hmm. that it's a two hour program yeah. and you just, uh, your question was in 24 hours. I mean, you, you only could sleep four, five, six hours, but the rest of the time you were mic'd up. So, and I'm talking only 24 hours. I mean, of course it was 10 days. 10 days, 10 yeah. 10 days, there must have been loads of uh, experiences. There's a lot of footage, I think. Okay. Okay. Well, what response, positive or negative? Did you get overall from the people who saw the program, including family views and because it's personal life, of course. I think a lot of them are positive. A lot of a lot of it, it, it is positive, which is great. Uh, there are negative comments as well, but there's a. I think there's a. Uh, it is it is again. I would say a very Asian thing. Oh, tumne hume bataya nahi. You know, a lot of people are saying that to me. Why don't you tell us you were going on on TV? And I was like, part of it that, you know. Well, why didn't you tell me? <laughs> because, uh, to be honest with you, we were, first of all, not told uh, to, to disclose any sort of information. Uh, you have to understand, this is a first show or first program of its nature. Okay. BBC has never highlighted or not giving this much airtime to a Muslim program or any Muslim program. So, for that reason, uh, you know, uh, for that reason, obviously, they didn't want which I understand as well. It's like 
even when I when I did my film um, before the post production, we were not allowed to talk about it. We were not allowed to speak about it or post pictures or things like this. And uh, uh, I think that that's why we were under a contract that mm -hmm. we 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 not supposed to obviously say anything. Okay, Mani, that's fair. That's fair. Well, let me ask you something. A bit of a hot topic. I want to ask you a question that's been on a lot of people's mind, and I've seen some of the reviews. Some of my friends watch the program as well. Now, what I want to ask you is, are you gay? No. No? Okay. No. What's your opinion then? Is, is being gay permitted in Islam? Uh, I think being gay, uh, it's not permitted in any religion. And uh, obviously, it's not allowed in Islam as well. Okay. Okay. Well, coming away from that then, what type of Muslim would you class yourself as? An average. Or do you think there is classes that people can actually match up to a degree in Islam? I think it's Islam. It's it's first of all. It's I mean, I know it's a bit of a hot topic and it's a bit different, to, uh, difficult to describe because there's no such thing as to compare yourself in that category. But personal opinion, how would you feel Islam plays a role or a bearance in your life? The uh, thing is, I would go back to your first question: uh, what kind of Muslim? So I would I would say I'm I'm an average practicing Muslim. You know, I do my namaz, I do my salah, uh, alhamdulillah, five times a day. And uh, I do other necessary things uh, as well. Plus, there's there's the meditation side of things. There's the zikr side of things. There's there's other things that we do as well. Uh, charity is a massive, massive part of it. So which I I feel very I take it very seriously, and I feel I am um, I'm a very devoted uh, Muslim when it comes to especially these sort of things. Secondly, Islam is is not just a religion. Islam is a faith. Now. Any hope you have is weak. Any faith you have is strong. So I think Islam is very strong. Secondly, it's a way of life. So it's not just, sure. you know, it's not just about how you see or how I need to show you. It's how I feel at the same time. It's very important. It's very vital for me. So for me, being a Muslim, I am a Muslim. You know, I was born, alhamdulillah, Muslim. So I've, I never had to think twice. Sure, sure. You know, I, I, I don't think about it. What kind? It's just what we have been brought up with. Secondly, as you go along, you make some mistakes. You make certain mistakes in but your life. You're only human. And this is how you learn. And so I'm not perfect. I'm far from it. However, I have a good ear. I always try and listen to my friends, including yourself or anybody else. And I try and learn. And because uh, at the end of the day, I just feel that I want to be a best example, um, uh, a best Muslim example possible, especially this day and age where there's a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of talk about Islamophobia, there's a lot of talk about uh, how we do things, how we, so, I mean, there's a negative narrative to it, but there's a very positive narrative to it as well. Okay. So do you think uh, it's driven mostly from Islam or would you say it's a cultural negativity? Persona that I think most of it is culture because, for instance, I give an example. If I wear a jubba today, yeah, yeah which is actually an Arabic dress, yeah, yeah. does that make me more Muslim? No. I and mean, I could wear what I'm wearing today, have that faith, have that belief, uh, and the taqwa, I would say. Sure. And, and you know, w you believe in the oneness of Allah, you believe. Uh, that Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is the last Prophet of Allah and you believe in all the Sahabas you believe in all the companions you believe in you know so this is what makes but then again them two hours are not enough to discuss all these things yeah, sure. it's 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 it is a history you're talking about history which is 1400 years old you know how can you portray I am I well, don't talking about portrayal I just want to ask you this. what do you feel the program Muslims like us Brought to, uh, brought to light regarding Islam? First of all, it got us thinking. The there, main was sure there was a lot of controversy. Well, you have to understand... I, and I think, personally, that was down to all the different people and, and the diverse people and personalities that come together. Yeah, but controversy is part of our lives. I don't know why people say controversy. Controversy... Controversy, I mean, indirectly and directly, I suppose. I can just ask you... I mean, the, the gay issue. Yeah. The gay issue was a very controversial part. Yeah. Um, sort of another extremist view. Viewpoint. Everybody had individual views. So that's one extreme to another, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, one extreme to another. I guess you, you, you nailed it by that. Yeah. But, but what do you think then overall, your own personal opinion? I, I think that's that these both 
individuals if, I, if we just talk about they're part of the society now whether i believe in it whether i don't believe in it but they are actually they exist you know yeah. you cannot uh, you you can't say that there is no existence of it there is however whether we are is okay to talk about it or not that's a totally different matter now for me i i come from a background where i have taught uh, general manners are, if I'm just talk about that ev you, you should be nice to everybody you should be welcoming and confronting to everybody show compassion in your life show your love in your life this is how I've been brought up and I think just because I was happened to be there and then obviously it's it, that doesn't mean hugging everyone <laughs> <laughs> well hugging uh, come on would you would you not hug me and call you know this is this is pure I'm so huggable <laughs> And I give the best hugs. Cool, no worries. I think that's it. And I mean, yesterday I was out. I was in in Manchester, and I met few. Uh, it was a family. In fact, today when we went out. Yeah, when we went out today as well. We, we got a total stranger come and ask you, didn't they? <laughs> we Muslims like us, and, and he wanted a hug. He wanted a hug. There we go. <laughs> okay, so um, keep. You know, I just say I uh, hugging again. It's it's a, it's an expression. Sure. You know, and I'm I'm a very sort of a huggy huggy sort of person, okay. which I'm. I'm you know, I don't mind. It's like, this is what part... I mean, I'll give you an example. When you go to Europe, sure. you go to France, you go to Italy, um, the way they greet each other, they kiss each other. Even men in Arabic, in, uh, you know, if you go Saudi as well, most of the cultures, yeah. they, they, we hug each other, we kiss each other. But that doesn't mean we are gay or anything like that. Sure. You know, it's just like, imagine if, if, if that's the theory you've got in your head, yeah. then what happens on the Eid day? Well, yeah, I suppose. <laughs> Is everybody gay? <laughs> personal opinion, I suppose a lot of people can paint the picture whichever way they want. Uh, last of all, I just want to ask you, what message do you have for everybody? The youth of today, the viewership overall, just generally? Today? Oh, that's... Uh, I don't think I'm able enough to answer this question, but I would say one thing, that we need to, first of all, we need to relax we need to it's okay to be muslim it's okay to be an actor comedian and be muslim you are who you are and but what the most important part the most important thing i would say is that stop being so judgmental about people stop being so judgmental about yourself you know and i think what we have to understand I is i think it begs the questions where are the, the the sound thinking minds Indeed, I mean, that's a very, very good saying, I would say. However, I would just still think there is so much humanity in Islam, you know. And the most important aspect yeah, yeah. of is that it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. Sure. And it is very easy to be nice to people who are actually nice. But it's very hard to be nice with those who are actually not, not nice to you. And at the moment, us Muslims, mm -hmm. we need to unite. And we you need, and, and and I and I said something in the house as well, uh, which obviously because it didn't come through through the edit or whatever. Yeah, I was going to actually say you've got some strong views, and why wasn't it actually covered? What was your role that was actually played in? I mean, I, I now I should say we <laughs> actually portrayed on TV. We could talk about this all night, to be honest. It's just because it was so much. General, just brush over. But I would say one thing that I love Muslims, and as much as I love non-Muslims, yeah. as much as I love any human being reason for that is remember one thing we all have a same creator sure simple absolutely. is that you know absolutely. and it's the same same bloodline yes somebody's black somebody's white somebody's you know my color which i just think god cooked me right <laughs> <laughs> it's Perfect. the best color you can get did you, okay. about color? did you feel there was a bit of a hint of racism in the air or generally do you think that's a cultural, no. cultural or religious problem there was no racism in the house right. if maybe if that came across I'm sorry, uh, it, it's your opinion, or maybe that's what was shown. There was no. We got on. We I remember distinctively Nabil saying, I'm Muslim and I'm black, so everywhere I go, I get hated. Yeah, but that's, uh, that's so his. Something along them lines. Yeah, but that's, that's, that's why I'm saying, I can say I'm a Pakistani and I'm fat, or I, 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 wherever I go, somebody will hate on me. That's a very negative narrative. Mm -hmm. Whereas I think I'm a Muslim and I am big, that means. Somebody will really show, show the shine. You know, glass is all half empty, half full. Mm -hmm. It's entirely one's decision. I mean, I'm not here to dictate, obviously. But in my opinion, there was no racism. I am not racist. I didn't feel anything. However, just it's just like living in a house. Yeah. When 10 people 
especially who do not know anything about each other and who wants to prove a point, who are very opinionated, they live together in a house, there will be friction. And the, I know exactly wh wh where you're asking this question for, for that particular reason, for that scene where they're shown the, the whole, the onion thing or whatever. What you didn't see was there was a build-up. All right, okay. So there was a bit of friction between Nabil and Fahan. Obviously, you know, there was. And it was, it was not just a friction. It was just everybody. And the other thing is, which I don't think, I've, I've seen a lot of videos people have posted or whatever, but nobody's really mentioned one one major major thing which is that we were not allowed to use our phones oh yeah okay and that is very frustrating in this day and sure, age sure. let's be honest because i mean I, I could be sad i could be happy i could be whatever sure. but what i can do is in a normal day i can go on youtube listen to my music it's a bit of an outlet. Yeah, it is i'm sorry but it is an escape escapism isn't it i completely understand that yeah. so for that reason i think there was a lot of friction there was a lot of um, sort of, the, the, I think we just we just wanted to basically ha oh, oh, this is enough, this is enough. Absolutely brilliant. That's uh, actually the end of a couple of questions that we wanted to ask. Yeah. Any other further messages? Yes, I just want to say a couple of more things. First of all, uh, this video is probably by the, by the time it goes out, uh, it will already be Christmas. So I just want to wish every single person. Uh, happy, belated, Merry Christmas. We used to say Merry Christmas as we grown up. I went to a Catholic school myself. So, but uh, now obviously we say Happy Christmas and Happy Holidays and a Happy New Year. And I hope 2017, uh, Inshallah, which means God willing, will bring a lot of luck, a lot of love, a lot of happiness, a lot of health and prosperity to the human nature, to the human community, not just Muslims, not just Hindus, Sikhs or atheists, whoever you are. I just think we all have one thing in common. We have been given and gifted the ability to love. So I love you all. I respect you all. And for those uh, who don't like me, thank you so much. And for those who like me, I love you. Love, Khuda Hafiz.